Jon Stewart announcing that he will take a break from The Daily Show to, to, to direct a film about Iran. WSJ's John Janarone joins me right now with the latest. Wow, so comics usually like to make fun of people who take breaks to, to direct right. films. Now he's going to do it. Yeah, that's right. And uh, it's not his first time. He was, uh, he was uh, in the cast of uh, Death to Smoochie about 10 years ago, and that didn't go so well. Didn't go so well. But no. his career has, has taken off uh, in a big way in the last several years. Uh, very, very highly rated show. Uh, and he's leaving at a time, or taking a break at a time, when it feels like that that time of the night is getting increasingly competitive. Jimmy Kimmel Live just moved back its time slot to uh, 11.30 to compete with uh, Letterman and Leno. And, um, you know, I think, um, you know, from a, I think even advertisers are probably looking at, at, that, at that part of the night more and more. So to go off and do a movie which probably has you know, a so-so chance of, of succeeding is a little risky. And it's a, in the topic, I mean, the topic is a very serious topic. I mean, this is a film he wrote called uh, Rosewater. It deals with journalism and government imprisonment in Iran, among other subjects. And it was adapted from a book that had a, the author had a connection to his show originally. That, that's right. So the author was, was on his show uh, at some point and um, I think was accused of being a spy. Uh, so that, that And then imprisoned like, in Iran. That's right. Right. Yeah. Uh, and so he, but he's going to go off. He's going to do this. Who will the people will want him while he's away? Um, so they're going to put in uh, one of his. Um, uh, they're going to put in uh, correspondent uh, John I've Oliver. Heard, yeah. right. So John Oliver, who's who's on the show already, who I guess uh, he'll you know have out on on location when they're doing little um, sketches, is going to is going to stand in. So he's a familiar face. I mean, it's only eight weeks, so uh, chances are this is not going to. Uh, cause any major major problems, but again, there's a lot of attention on late night right now. So it's 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 somewhat surprising that uh, you know he's he's you know going to take off. And it is somewhat unusual for these these late night talk show hosts to to want to leave their slot to do any other kind of project, right? I mean, you work so hard to get that slot and to keep those viewers and to stay on top to sort of walk right. It's it's yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean that that's right. I mean, look, his show has. I mean, they've done very well. If I if I remember right, in the last few years, the the sort of you know classic late night guys like Leno and Letterman have um, have been losing viewers, and you had people watching um, Comedy Central stuff. So so Stewart and Colbert have have picked up a lot of viewers over time. Uh, I think, I mean, um, Conan has suffered a little bit after after he uh, moved over to TBS, but um, you know these guys have been. Um, winning at the expense of, of, of the older guys. And, and Jon Stewart appeals to a, to a younger audience. That, that's, that's another part of it. I mean, you look at, I mean, I think Letterman is about, is about 65. Uh, Leno is probably in his early 60s. So guys like Stewart, who, who are, you know, he's in, I think he's in his 40s, um, Conan, um, uh, Kimmel, you know, they're the new generation. Right. And this, I mean, this will be an interesting test with that younger audience to see if they will stick with him for such a heavy topic. I guess John, as in John Janerone, when he comes back, if it doesn't work out so well, he'll have a lot of fodder for his own jokes about right. himself, I <laughs> yeah, guess. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, thanks so much for being with thanks, us. Thanks, Wendy. Appreciate it.